golf cart drivers can now legally hit the streets of Starkville. WTVA's Rhea Thornton joining us live in Octibaha County to tell us more about the process. Emily, about a month ago, Starkville City leaders added golf carts as another form of transportation for people to use to get throughout the city. And now people can officially register their golf carts and begin cruising. It was a fairly simple thing to do, and I think everybody's happy about it. As of November 4th, residents of Starkville can now register their golf carts with the city clerk's office. The registration allows for them to drive their golf carts on roads with speed limits under 35 miles an hour, like Main Street through downtown. Moe's Original Barbecue is a local restaurant on Main, and its owner is excited about the new ordinance. I've seen where other towns have done it, and um, it's kind of a positive thing. It kind of keeps everybody like in that kind of downtown area that's fun and just kind of keeps it alive. Whitstucky believes as the ordinance grows in popularity in the area, the number of customers he sees throughout the week could increase too. And that's exactly what Starkville Mayor Lynn Sproul was hoping for. I just think it operates to allow us an alternative transportation. You know, we were supportive of the e-scooters, and this is just another alternative transportation opportunity. Since Thursday, four people registered their golf carts with the city clerk's office, but with college football still in full force, the Egg Bowl hosted in Starkville, and college basketball right around the corner, that number could bump up soon. It's just very uh, environmental friendly and uh, offers options, and we like offering options to our community. Just a reminder, it does cost $100 to register your golf cart. However, once you get that decal, you will legally be able to drive on roads under 35 miles an hour for as long as your golf cart is working. Reporting live in Starkville, Rhea Thornton, WTVA 9 News.